Well, this is probably just going to be like a little short video, but I made this wind tunnel last night. Right now I just kind of want to explain how I made it, how it works, and then sort of show some of what it can do. But essentially consists of two computer fans, a little constriction of foam board, this 3D printed filter, which is basically just like um, um, rectilinear infill for about nine centimeters, just to kind of develop the flow, um, because obviously the computer fans create quite a turbulent uh, vortex as they spin, and so we just want to get that moving kind of linearly. Um, not quite laminar, I think, but at least a lot better than um, what the fans create by themselves. And then, so what we have here is um, a nickel chromium wire that we can run a current through, and if we spread a little bit of vegetable glycerin, we can get really cool little smoky streamlines to kind of qualitatively see how the flow contours around whatever, you know, test object we have here. And right now what I have is literally just a piece of foam board and a little 3D printed, um, right now it's uh, the new Sukhoi plane, but, um, you know, at some point I intend to put a little load cell here so we can measure um, the amount of lift force. And at some point, potentially, I will have um, a small load cell here and a string in this axis with uh, an amount of tension. And then whatever drag force is exerted on the object will be, there will be a difference in, in tension. So uh, potentially measure drag in that way. Um, but yeah, so let me just turn it on. We have um, a four cell LiPo. Pop that sucker on. We have the fans start to go. We have a two cell LiPo. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect one side of the Nike room to that. And another side here. And we already have some glycerin on there, so what we can do... Better angle here. You can kind of see how the flow develops around the airframe. I would say that the main reason I made this wind tunnel is because I'm super interested in and curious about 3D flow around wings. And so here we can see this simple rectangular wing with a pretty steep angle of attack. And if we run some airflow around the tips, we can see these vortices, and that's because the uh, bottom surface has a very high pressure, the top has a, a low pressure relative to the bottom surface, and so we'll see um, an airflow spill around uh, over the wingtip and create little vortices as it travels backwards. And this is a big contributor to induced drag. But yeah, um, hopefully I will be using this to do some cool experiments and uh, fun things in the future, maybe add those load cells. Um, it's definitely not perfect, but I think it's really fun. And uh, with that, I'll leave you with some cool footage of the streamlines. Thanks for watching.